Morning peeps, good morning everyone, how's everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe. What did you make of that yesterday? Interesting, right? At times I thought very entertaining, um, especially when it got to Jarrell Miller. I thought he spat with AJ was probably the highlight of the whole thing. I mean, everyone else spoke in cliches really, but as soon as it got to Jarrell Miller, and he obviously destroyed Daniel Dubois. I felt sorry for Dubois. Look, not every fight is going to be good on the mic. I do think that's a good fight, though. Um, I think a lot of people are picking Jarrell Miller based off Jarrell Miller sort of prior to him popping for everything. Um, and maybe thinking that Dubois is some sort of quitter. Um, I do think Dubois, for at least the first five or six rounds, is going to put it on Miller. And then it's up to Miller to still be there and respond. But I think of all the fights on the card, that might be the hardest one to pick. I think, so I'm looking forward to that fight. But I also think there's no way that we don't see AJ Miller 2.0. I just feel like it's going to happen. It seems like a big fight. Both of them really genuinely dislike each other. And if Miller can look really good against Dubois, and there is some sort of hurdle again in making the AJ Wilder fight, if AJ comes through Otto Wallen, I know there's so many ifs and buts here. I feel like AJ Miller is a big fight. I think it does big numbers. And I think there is still... A lot of interest in it. Everyone keeps talking about the face-off that we never saw, right? I think that's going to be, can that be? Will Sky let that? But if they can, I think we'll see little clips of that as well. But I think that's a fight that I think will happen in 2024, providing that Miller looks good against Daniel Dubois. And a lot of people think he will look good. Um, It did look spectacular. I have to say that. I mean, seeing all these big name fighters come out was crazy it really was uh, again look I understand people upset that it's not AJ Wilder and maybe Parker Otto Volin but I mean just to have that card made in and speaking to everyone I mean Eddie was on stage with us and Eddie said they he first got the call about that card I think eight days ago so that card was put together in eight days which again is incredible I can't wait for it I mean there are at least I'd say five or six main events on that card. Do you know what I mean? Five or six fights that would headline normally. Like Dimitri Bivol would headline, believe it or not, he would against Lyndon Arthur. Um, AJ would obviously headline against Otto Volin. Um, Wilder Park is a headline fight as well. So there's a few that would headline. So I think it's good that, um, that we're getting all of that in one card. I think it's um, incredible. I did interview... A few fighters, I interviewed Deontay Wilder and he has this presence about him. He came into the room and I was like, my God, first of all, he's very, very tall, but very, very slim. Like very, I could not believe the size of him. I was like, gee, because I interviewed AJ just before Wilder. So when I say just before, they crossed each other. So obviously me seeing AJ, who's very big and then seeing Wilder, I was like, my God, AJ is so much bigger than this man. And again, I know people always point to the legs, of Wilder but I'm always told that a lot of the power is generated from the legs and I couldn't help but look at his legs and think my god they're so small so where does this power come from it probably is god-given he always talks about it being god-given but just speaking to him he wraps you up in a belief that he could do anything like as he was talking I was like my god you could do anything like you could go back in there and beat Fury like he gave me that confidence that he could just conquer the world again. Um, I asked him, I said, look, have you missed boxing like we've missed you? Because we have missed Deontay Wilder. And he's like, no, he hasn't missed boxing. Um, he wants to spend time with his family, his wife. Um, boxing was only <clears throat> a sport he delved into because of obviously um, the, um, the illness that his daughter has. So he just needed to make some money for that. And then eventually he realized he was pretty good at it. <clears throat> he made some money from it and he wanted out. But I think now he wants in and he obviously does want in. And I don't think it's just for the money with him. Obviously, look, they're prize fighters. The, the biggest prize is the money. Um, but there are also so many exciting fights out there for him. Like Ngannou wasn't an exciting fight 12 months ago. Obviously, the AJ one. I think he wants Usyk, Zhili Zhang. There are so many opportunities out there now for Wilder. So, um, yeah, it was great to speak to him. I spoke to Bivol, spoke to AJ spoke to Parker, uh, looked on the stage, looked at all the other heavyweights as well that were there. And all I kept thinking, and this is a bit wild because look, it's a crazy card. Again, crazy names. All I was thinking was, where the fuck is Andy Ruiz Jr.? That, that, honestly, that was all I was thinking through it. Because I was thinking, 
Andy Ruiz here has so many great matchups. And it's not just that fight card. I look at the other fight card that we had <clears throat> recently, Fury and Garnu, and all those heavyweights that are on that card. And I was thinking, we've seen and or are about to see all the best heavyweights apart from really Andy Ruiz. Think about it. Frank Sanchez is on the card. Hergovic is on the card. We've just seen Gili Zhang. We've just seen Joe Joyce, AJ Wilder, Fury, and Garnu now is ranked as a top 10 heavyweight. The, the ones just below that, Adelaide, Wardley, like literally we've seen all the heavyweights apart from Mr. Andy Ruiz. And I don't get it. I don't get the inactivity. I don't understand it. I mean, surely these are events that he wants to be involved in. Like surely th this is it, right? I mean, who doesn't want to be involved in what some are saying is the best fight card in years? Who doesn't want to be involved in that? Surely Andy Ruiz would have been reached out to like, dude, you know, we've got certain matchups like, come on, Andy Ruiz versus Hergovic, Frank Sanchez, Cabial, Arslan Bak Makhmudov, Parker, Volin. These are all AJ rematch, Wilder. These are all incredible fights. Like the options available to Andy Ruiz is insane, are insane. I, I, it can't just be money because I know for a fact that these fighters are getting paid. They're getting paid. So I, I, I'm, I'm baffled by what's going on. And, um, I don't know if this is eventually the end of Ruiz. Hopefully it's not. But I always go back to the fact that Andy Ruiz hasn't fought this year. Um, Andy Ruiz had one fight in, or did he? Yeah, one fight in 2022, one fight in 2021. And I think no fights in 20, something like that. It's ridiculous anyway. And I'm like, is it just a case of he's decided, doesn't fancy it anymore? Because every time I hear about Andy Ruiz, there's two things I hear. One, um, pricing himself out of fights. I think uh, Fury's team have said that. Again, I don't know if this is fact, but Fury's team have said that. Dante Wilder has said that as well. And the other thing I hear is just inactivity. Or I don't even hear it, I see it. And I, I just kind of wonder whether or not the hunger's gone. I wonder if he really wants to do this. Because again, you look at, you, you only have to look at the two big heavyweight fight cards um, and look at the amount of heavyweight talent on those fight cards and he is the missing one he's the missing one and, and the only other ones that are not on there have fought recently Jared Anderson has, has fought right uh, Charles Martin has fought whether or not we class those as top heavyweights um, Fury Usyk is going to be is going to be announced today I'm about to head over to a press conference so yeah I do find it weird that Andy Ruiz isn't there and it's, it's a shame as well I, I say I find it weird it's a shame because I think Andy Ruiz is so good so good. I think he's so entertaining. He's exciting. He's a former world champion. Um, and I think, I genuinely believe this. I think he can compete with any of the heavyweights. I'm not saying he beats them. He can compete with them. And I think it makes for exciting fights. So um, hopefully, how old is Ruiz? Hopefully, whatever is holding him back, whether it be mentally, whatever, 34, whatever it is that's holding him back, hopefully he can overcome that because ultimately I just want to see him fight again because I think it's exciting. Uh, yeah, okay, this is Andy Ruiz's record here. So in 2022, so obviously no fights in 2023. Luis Ortiz in 2022. Uh, Chris Ariola, which was a lot harder than it should have been in 2021. No fights in 2020. And then um, the AJ fights. I mean, this guy used to give us entertainment, give us fights, doesn't do it. Fought three times in 2019. Is it the AJ money? Was that the problem? He got so much in the second fight with AJ that he now has an unrealistic view of what he's worth. I don't know, but it is a shame. Um, don't forget, guys. In the early hours of this morning, we are going to um, we are going to see uh, uh, Shakur Stevenson versus um, um, De Los Santos. That's that's in the early hours of this morning. I think we're forgetting it's a Thursday. It is. It's Thursday. That's fights happening um, tonight, basically. So if you can make sure you watch it, it was so good to see a picture of. Shakur Stevenson, uh, Andre Ward, and Terence Crawford. I mean, the talent in that photo, unbeaten talent in that photo is insane. It's insane. All right, guys, look, this was a very, very quick video. Um, I'm not quite sure when those interviews with Wilder, AJ, et cetera, et cetera, will come out, but hopefully very, very soon. I am on my way now to um, Tottenham, Tottenham Court Road for the Fury Usyk presser. I will be interviewing Mr. Tyson Fury. I think Tony Bellew is going to interview 
uh, Alexander Usyk, and we are going to see um, what this one's about. Can't wait for it. Peace and love. <laughs>